Hi, this is Andrea from Happy White Bakers. I almost forgot where I was from because I'm holding peaches. So it makes me think I'm in Georgia or something. But, so I bought a 25 pound, um, let me say that again, 25 pound box of peaches the other day from the peach truck. And so one of the things that we've been doing so far is just eating them because, well, peaches are really, really good from this place. So I'm making peach crisp. crunchy little topping on top of the peaches. Goes good with ice cream. Um, instead of peeling the peaches, I'm going to drop them in the water and do a um, skinning of them. I dropped it into a boiling water and it did stop boiling just a little bit when I dropped those things in because they're a little colder than the boiling. So I leave them in for a couple seconds. I'm gonna bring them out, going into the ice water. one of them and then they just peel very very easily well, there is a peeled peach ready to go you thought that was super cool mm -hmm. okay now put it in my bowl this is basically a two-part recipe so the bottom of the recipe is four cups of sliced peaches, which I've already sliced. And then the top part of it is the crisp part of it, which can be used actually on anything. Cherries, apples, really any any fruit can go on the bottom, berries. And it is oats, old fashioned oats. You want flour, so there's a half cup of that, half cup of that, and a half cup of brown sugar. Um, teaspoon of cinnamon, and a half teaspoon of nutmeg, a quarter teaspoon salt, and then I also added, for some crunchy, some pecans, because pecans and peaches go very good together. From the same state, grow in the same area, always a good combination when you can find that. You also use cold cold butter. Most of your recipes call for a softened butter but this calls for a hard butter. So I'm going to slice this butter into little chunks and then add it into this mix. My hands are clean which is why I'm about to do this just sometimes the only way you can mix butter of this type. So, One of the things my grandmother taught me about using butter is always remember there's butter on here and when you're greasing your pan use the empty butter to actually grease your pan instead of getting out some other grease. So I'm going to pour my peaches in that is just peaches, by the way. There's nothing else on there. And then topping goes on. Make sure it gets evenly distributed. And there is, you'll notice, the chunks of butter, but that will all melt in and make uh, sauce with the cobbler. So it is ready to put in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes, so it's very quick to put together, very quick to bake. I believe it's done. <laughs> Woo. Our oven's so hot when you pull them out. A nice little crisp. You can see there's some juice down there. There's a lot of juice that was made from the peaches and the butter that is in there. So that's Kind of, that's hard now on top, which is the crisp part of it. There is some soft section still left, but that's all right. Don't want to overcook this. Do want to make sure that the peaches are actually cooked. So, and if you notice how my fork goes in, it's very, very tender in there. 
So the peaches are fully cooked at this point, which is another very important thing to do. Although a lot of times when you're having it with ice cream, you'll put it in the microwave a couple seconds, get it warmed up enough to put some ice cream on top. The ice cream melts nice and soft all over it, and it's just heaven in the summer. Real peaches smell real good. You gonna give it a try? Just came out of the oven. Are you uh -huh. crazy? I will boil my mouth from nom, the nom, insides. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Ready to for a taste. Cool down just a few minutes. Oh. Mm. Peaches just melt in your mouth. I didn't even chew it. And it's a little crispy, chewy on top with the crisp. I really taste that brown sugar, which is one of my favorite flavors. Just the, a little bit of that cinnamon. Nutmeg just backs up the cinnamon, basically, in most recipes. It's so good, and it's just so summery. really wish I could have some ice cream on top of this. <laughs> but for you guys, you need to see what it looks like. But it just tastes so summery, and it, the, like I said, the peach just melted. Thanks for watching. Try this. See how it comes out for you. If you like this recipe, look for others on our channel. You can hit the subscribe button over here. I think it's this way. Um, this is so good. I'm going to have to keep eating. So, bye.